Okay, good afternoon once again, Robert and Albert. Thank you for attending the class. And welcome good to... Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Fine. So now we're going to talk about considerations in harvesting. So this is just a very brief, uh, I don't know if it's still brief, but um, it's still it's a short um, listing of the different um, procedures on how to minimize mechanical injuries specifically for during harvesting. So my mga checklist lang ito, no? For example, you're going to use the sharp clipper or shears or knife in harvesting various crops such as guava, citrus, papaya, beans, melons, tomato, eggplant, okra, pineapple. And this is to avoid plugging. When you say plugging, birahunin mo siya, tapos i-plug mo, birahunin mo siya. So if birahunin mo siya and then yung pwede set is matigas pa, iyahang ano, so what will happen, di ba? Makumot ni mo ang, ang fruit or ma, ang maputol na noon ang fruit, no? Especially for eggplant and for tomato, basic ang tomato na noon ang mapisa. So you always use knife, sharp clippers, or whatever cutting tools. With the pruning shear, ma'am. Yes, shears. And then you harvest, for example, beans by holding the stems as you twist to avoid cutting a piece of the pod and destroying adjacent flowers and young pods. So uh, when you harvest beans, you hold the stem with a twist. No? And when you harvest pineapple, you force the pedicel to bend and snap. No? It's really gina. Uh, ang pedicil na dare tas isnap ni mo siya i-bend, you know? Ang morning pineapple. And anyway, I have a video after this to show you the different practices done in pineapple. So, mga, mga major crafts na ang pinili ko, actually, may mga link na nakapost. Have you seen the links already? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so did you try to, to watch on that already or not yet? Ano mo kay? Lag mo kay ma'am? Ma'am, ang kistingan ka na ganyan ma'am. Not yet pa ma'am. Okay. So anyway, you can hear me loudly and clearly. Can you hear me? Yes ma'am. Okay, good. Ito nga mga video. Ito nga mga video. Ito nga video mo na ito sa YouTube ma'am. Yes, mga video, mga YouTube link to kay Dili ko gusto nga mapuno ang Google Classroom. Ah, pwede rin sa YouTube ta na ma'am. Ito nga naka unbutang sa Google Classroom. Kaya naka Google Drive na siya. Ay, nasa Drive. Google Drive. So, pag mapuno na siya, ma mas hinay ang, well, I think, most specifically, uh, most probably, I mean, mahinay ng iyahang ano. Anyway, um, moving, moving on. So, when you harvest root cracks, also, you just don't pull it. No, you use root lifting tools like uh, uh, show, Shovel, hook, or the organ tool. And you harvest lansones by cluster to keep longer using clippers. Of course, we all know that na atong sa na bunch sa lansones or pung pung ang imong harvestson. And use picking pole with a touch shear or knife and net. So. Like mango, what else? When you, even in um, even in pomelo already, they have designed already a, a shear or knife with a net, na picking pole. And hopefully, hopefully soon, no, ma materialize um picking pole with shear knife and net sa sa coconut. Who knows, no? Basig na nagani. And mangosteen picker with aluminum pipe with one split into four with inner slice line with a rubber. And also bananas using crops and two per sun. So in the Philippines, we always harvest bananas uh, using kanang crops, kanang inhasyang tukuran. And dalawang tao talaga mag-harvest, no? Kahit lima kahit isa. And that is for protection purposes. 
But of course, Robert and Albert, we can always harvest banana alone. Di ba? Kaya ninyo? Kaya ma'am. Potlo na rin ako na din. <laughs> but in able to protect the, the banana, you should always harvest it using crops and two persons. So these are example of the uh, cutting shear or knife no? or clipper. And then this is the pole picker with the net and also a shear here or ito, um, cutting edge. So yun yung mga ginagamit sa mga fruits. And for, for durian fruits, some, some are already tied, no? Kaya pag mahulog sila, nakabitay gapo, no? Dili sila mabuha kung madaot. And you can also use puddle collecting baskets. Like, uh, for, for, sa, like, naka, ano na siya, no? Nanay basket nga naka hang dito para dito ra siya masalo. And you use gloves for delicate crops like strawberry. Usually, they, they even prefer women, no? Mga babae to to harvest strawberries and that is because panang para, para delicate dili dali ma malata ang strawberry and ah uh, they prefer women to harvest strawberry and collecting basket tied to the waist no that will also help you in harvesting uh, easily and climb for tall trees and using picking pole usually and um, and do not harvest root and bulb crops when soil is wet and too dry of course uh, if wet siya medyo mahirapan din tayo mag harvest and especially kung too dry no, for digging purposes and also for um, for also the cleanliness of the of the root crabs and bulb crabs. And you harvest carefully and handle gently. So there are also uh, crabs that are being filled back already after harvesting. And sa field pa lang na sort na, na trim na, and package at the time of harvest, like the strawberry. Kasi napaka delicate ng strawberry. And have you watched already how to harvest strawberries? in some other, you know, online videos or in real situation. Yes, ma'am. Ma yes, ma na basket sa kilid din, murag ilang gina kuan twist ba nila pag kuan. Naibot lang ito. And diretso na na siya, nakasort, nakatrim na, and nakapackage. And this is also been done in, uh, in cabbage, and use bucket with polyester and styrofoam board with holes to hold harvested flowers naman. So, um, I have, before I forget, I will also give a link on how to harvest. The harvesting commodities like uh, roses. Uh, so, when is the right time to harvest during the day? Is it morning or afternoon? Albert. Morning, ma'am. Morning. Morning, ma'am. Morning. So, it actually depends. Morning. Morning. So, it actually depends on the crop. Pero most probably, it should be early in the morning or later in the afternoon. Not in the middle of the day because the the sun, no, the heat of the sun. Uh, at speed. Yes, ma'am. Labi na ka ng mga leafy mong i-harvest, ma'am, no, mga laya. Yes, exactly. And you harvest, uh, except only for mango and citrus because it's the opposite. And it's the reason behind that, it's because uh, a mango and citrus, meron silang oil at saka latex na mas kusog ang latex kung early in the morning or later in the afternoon. So, i-harvest ni mo tanang commodities into early in the morning or later in the afternoon but not mango and citrus. So for roses, they are cut in later afternoon para mas madaming carbohydrates para sa kanyang shelf life. Sampagita is harvested 
in the afternoon because they are larger, heavier, and whiter. While you harvest pet shy, mustard, gladiolus later in the afternoon also because they are turgid, very turgid or canang during early morning and they will break easily. Kanang puno pa sila o kanang tubig, no? Kaya mas madali siyang mabalik, mabakli. Well, Chinese cabbage naman can be harvested any time of the day. Kasi meron silang protective function or known as the wrapper leaves. And for sweet corn naman, you harvest them early in the morning, not in the afternoon, to prevent rapid conversion of sugar into starch. Because kung maharvest ni mga sweet corn in the afternoon, the less sweet na siya, di na siya sweeter. Kasi ang sugar content ng sweet corn is converted already to starch. So, uh, between and even kung mas store pa ni mo ang sweet corn mo na kung mag-harvest kay sweet corn, lutoon na rin na diretsyo. Kaya kung pagmahan pa na ni mo, bili na siya pareho ang katamkis sa pag-fresh harvest. Okay. Most of the sugars are already converted to starch. And of course, you, we all know that we need to avoid exposure to direct sunlight because it will high increase the deterioration. And therefore, you move the harvested commodities to a shade. That is why all plantation must have a post-harvest facility or tanatao nating shade. In fact, uh, this is this is a fact that the difference between uh, in temperature between shaded area and unshaded is about three to ten degrees Celsius, and this is a lot already. And so usually you should have a fat shed or lean to structure shield. Maski parang skeleton, basta naalam siya ato. No? And sometimes with a very wide na field, you just need to have container covered with leaves or canvas or tarpaulin. And another important thing that you must bear in mind during harvesting, especially for, for crop commodities like mango who have latex and oil, you should minimize the latex and oil because in the previous discussion we have they can stain the the peel and that that will also cause oleocelliosis and can also burn the peel of the and that that will de deter, that make it deteriorate faster and can also ruin the quality and also will be um will be a medium for the growth of bacteria or contamination. So for mango, you harvest them around 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. because the latex flow is slow and it will prevent latex stain. So spurt sap comes out soon within seconds already, five seconds when man mango is harvested or cut, which causes the latex burn. So latex ooze that flows later causes latex staining also. And latex flows even up to 36 hours after harvest. So it's more than one day. So these are the effects of the latex flow or ooze. So to minimize latex flow naman, again, you cut mangoes within two to five centimeter length pedicil to reduce the latex. And do not transform transport until na dry na yung latex ng manga. You invert the fruits also in a burlap sack with stem end down for latex flow. So, and don't worry, there is a video to illustrate this. And invert in warm mesh trays, allow to drip for 30 minutes. So, paugaon sa ni mga latex, no? And to remove sap by washing uh, one to 1.5% 1 alum solution. Of course, you know what's alum, the ba? Tawas. And 0.5 to 5% calcium carb carbide and hot water treatment. So that is why last time I, I remember, ikaw ba to, Robert? I see Yana to, no? Nag to nanguta na gani kung kailangan ba hugasan? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so, ma'am. Robert, Robert ba ka? Yes, ma'am, Robert. Yana. So, oh, Yana. <laughs> so, sorry. And also for banana. So, it, it means that you also need to 
wash it kasi because of the latex, no? But usually, kung clean lang man siya, no? kung hindi ka naman mag-apply ng hot water treatment or fungicide solution, then, then in, in, and it is clean, then it is also good for <coughs> for ano na, for selling or distribution. So long if you have that condi good quality condition. If not, then there is really a must for washing. Anyway, we'll be talking about the different um, post harvest operations. So it will uh, you will know the different step no from from picking, hanggang, trimming, washing and so on. So, going back to minimize latex flow in banana, you place banana hands on leaf sheet with weave exposed on top. And the, the, there should be crown pads, like soft paper impregnated with coagulant and fungicide to absorb the latex. So, anyway, you will see how to do it in the video. And papaya, you harvest it with 2.5 centimeter pedicil. And put the fruit stem end down. So, ibaliktad lang siya, just like also banana, in line baskets or rocks. For citrus naman, you should harvest later in the morning. Kasi in the middle of the day, the mango and citrus will have lesser latex flow and oil. So, peel is less turgid or softer later in the morning. When fruit is dropped or pressed, oils are less likely to break. So, less ang oleoceliosis or rind discoloration. So, I hope you still remember what is oleoceliosis that I have shown you photo of that before. And not only the latex, no, but you also should minimize the microbial growth and contamination. And you do that by minimizing contact with soil, placing in commodities in clean containers, and you harvest during dry weather, not rainy. And commodities should be so pre-sorted already in the field. Kung daot na siya, ayon na siya yapil. And longer stem on mango fruit, lesser decay due to less latex that serve as food for microorganisms. So as I have said, the microorganism uh, will also make use of the latex for their food and keep produce in cool, shaded area after harvest. So. Usually, our harvesting are done manually with the aid of equipment, but sometimes it can be mechanized using mechanical aids during harvest to reduce labor and damage and increase speed for bigger plantation. So, depending na yon sa how how wide and how extravagant is the is the you know the company. So, these are the list of the harvesting equipment. So you. Without acid to have as equipment is already um, plural. Balang S yet. So we have tracks or tractors for pineapple. We also have wind machine for small soft fruits. We also have tractor mounted machines with combing fingers for grapes. We have machine pea viners, subsoiler, vibrating digger blades, and mold board plows for root and sugar crops. We also have robotics for asparagus mushroom, cherry tomatoes, oranges, and I have an example for robotic for citrus fruit picker. And these are the tractors used for cabbage and other vegetables. So the next topic we're going to have are is the packing house operation, wherein you will learn on how to, um, what are the different packing house or steps or procedures done in the packing house. So, um, those are just the parang, I don't know, checklist on how to. So, let me start with the um, robot, uh, robotic strawberry harvester. Can, can you see the video? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Kita.
so there, that is just an example of a robotic harvester, no? So, in anak, sila kabongga for strawberry. Grabe na dyan, ma'am, no? <laughs> high-tech na kayo, ma'am? Oh. High-tech high na kayo ba? Basta-basta ilang kung ano. Machines. Ilang ang tao. It makes our life easier, ma'am. Let's move on to mango. I hope we can finish by time. Uh, seven minutes to minutes. Ma'am, ma'am. Pero madunggan ninyo ang toay? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Alwi mayar ke takazon ke mutabik aam ki bardasht ke liye ek munasib bag house ki maujood ki bahut zaruri hai. Just watch that. Bag house buniyadi taur par aam ke liye ek puri processing line ka kirdaar ada karta hai. Bag house mein har wo sahulat maujood honi chahiye jo aam ki um yani shelf life badhane mein madad kare. Bag house mein pehla marhala desapping kehlata hai. Desapping दो मुख्तलिफ तरीकों से की जा सकती है पहले तरीके में लाइव वाटर सोल्यूशन का इस्तेमाल किया जाता है जबकि दूसरे तरीके में आम की डटी को काट कर मखसूस रैक्स पर उल्टा कर रखा जाता है इन दोनों तरीका कार का बुनियादी मकसद आम को सैप बर्न या लेटेक से दागदार होने से बचाना है लाइव वाटर सोल्यूशन तैयार करने के लिए एक लीटर पानी में पाँच ग्राम लाइम फ्लेट यानी बुझा हुआ चूना मिलाना जरूरी है इसी तनासुब से हजब जरूरत महलूज तैयार किया जा सकता है लाइव वाटर सोल्यूशन का असर जाहिर और आम को हर तरह के केमिकल से मुबर्रा करने के लिए आम को साफ पानी से अच्छी तरह धोया जाता है इसके बाद आमों को प्रोसेसिंग लाइन पर डाला जाता है अगले मरहले में सॉर्टिंग यानी छांटी का अमल शुरू किया जाता है इस अमल में उन आमों को जो निशान जदा जख्मी या जिनमें किसी कस्म का नुक्स मौजूद हो छांट दिया जाता है इस अमल का मकसद मायारी और गैर मायारी आमों को अलहदा करना है इसके बाद तेज धार पानी और प्रोसेसिंग लाइन पर लगे हुए नायलॉन ब्रशेस के साथ आम पर लगी हुई मट्टी को साफ किया जाता है हॉट वाटर ट्रीटमेंट आम को बाद बर्दाश्त बीमारियों से बचाने के लिए एक बुनियादी अमल है इस अमल में आम को तीन से पांच मिनट के लिए गर्म पानी से गुजारा जाता है ख्याल रखिए कि पानी का दर्जा हरारत बावन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड तक हो पानी में मौजूद फंगिसाइड से आम की बर्दाश्त के बाद की बीमारियां खत्म हो जाती हैं। इन बीमारियों में स्टेम रॉड और एंथ्रेक्नोज शामिल है जो की अक्सर आम के पक जाने के बाद जाहिर हो सकती है इस अमल के बाद आम को हॉट एयर ड्रायर में ड्राइंग यानी सूखने के लिए रखा जाता है आमों के सूखने के बाद इनको ग्रेडिंग टेबल पर मुंतकिल कर दिया जाता है ग्रेडिंग के मरहले में आमों को वजन और साइज के हिसाब से ग्रेड किया जाता है इस अमल की वजह से पैकिंग के दौरान आमों के हर डब्बे का वजन एक जैसा रखना बहुत आसान हो जाता है आमों को नफासत और हिफान सेहत के असूलों के मुताबिक गत्ते के डब्बों में पैक किया जाता है हर डब्बे में एक साइज और हम वजन आमों को पैक किया जाता है आमों को स्टायरोफोम नेट से कवर करने के बाद इस पर स्टिकर्स लगाए जाते हैं और फिर डब्बे को कवर से बंद किया जाता है फिर पैक हुए डब्बों को छह घंटे प्री कूलिंग चेम्बर यानी ब्लास्ट चिलर में रखा जाता है इस दौरान चेम्बर का दर्जा हरारत 12 से 15 डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड और फिजा में नमी की मकदार पचासी ऐसी नब्बे फीसद होना जरूरी है इससे आमों की राइपनिंग यानी पकने का अमल आहिस्ता हो जाता है और इनकी शेल्फ लाइफ यानी उम्र बढ़ जाती है लास्ट चलर ट्रीटमेंट के बाद अगले मरहले का फैसला आमों की फरोख्त की नौयत को मद्देनजर रखकर किया जाता है आम की मकामी मार्केट में फरोख्त से पहले इसका राइपनिंग चेम्बर में एथलीन ट्रीटमेंट करना जरूरी है एथलीन ट्रीटमेंट से आम के पकने के दौरानिया को कंट्रोल किया जाता है हर की सही और मुनासिब पकाई के लिए एथलीन गैस चेम्बर में मखसूस वक्त के लिए और मखसूस मकदार में ट्रीटमेंट देना जरूरी है आम को मुरबजा तरीके से पकाने के लिए जो केमिकल्स इस्तेमाल किए जाते हैं वो इंतहाई मुजेरे सेहत होते हैं 
اس لیے آموں کی صحیح یکساں اور مضر اثرات سے مبرہ پکائی کے لیے ایتھلین ٹریٹمنٹ کی جاتی ہے جو کہ بین الاقوامی اسٹینڈرڈ کے اہم مطابق ہے اگر آم کی برآمد بذریعہ ہوائی جہاز ہو تو ایکسپورٹر کی خواہش کے مطابق آموں کے پکنے کا دورانیا آموں کو کولڈ اسٹوریج میں ایک خاص ٹیمپریچر پر رکھ کر مقرر کیا جاتا ہے بذریعہ بحری جہاز نزدیکی مارکیٹ میں آم کو ایکسپورٹ کرنے کے لیے ایکسپورٹر کے مشورے سے ایتھلین ٹریٹمنٹ دی جاتی ہے تاکہ مارکیٹ میں آم مناسب پکائی پر پہنچے آم کی پروسیسنگ مکمل ہونے کے بعد پیکنگ اور پیلٹ بنانا بہت اہم مرحلہ ہے پیلٹ کا سائز آم کے ڈبوں کے سائز کے مناسب ہوتا ہے پیلٹ اور ڈبوں میں زیادہ سے زیادہ پانچ سے چھ سینٹی میٹر کی کمی بیشی ہو سکتی ہے پیلٹ کے اوپر بارہ سے سولہ ڈبوں کی تہ رکھی جاتی ہے اور پیلٹ کنٹینر کی گنجائش کے مطابق رکھے جاتے ہیں اسٹریپنگ کے مرحلے میں نسلی پانچ دہوں کے چاروں کونوں کو ایک پلاسٹک کے اسٹریپ سے باندھا جاتا ہے اسٹریپ کی چوڑائی آٹھ سے پندرہ ملی میٹر کے درمیان ہوتی ہے لوڈنگ کے مرحلے میں پیلٹ کو کنٹینر تک لوڈر یا فوک لفٹر کی مدد سے پہنچایا جاتا ہے لوڈر کو استعمال کرتے وقت پیلٹ کا روک ہمیشہ سیدھا رکھا جاتا ہے کنٹینر کے لوڈ ہو جانے کے بعد اگر پیلٹ اور کنٹینر کے درمیان خالی جگہ ہو تو اس کو اسٹائرو فوم یا گتے کے خالی ڈبوں سے بھر دیا جاتا ہے اسی طرح کنٹینر کے دروازے اور پیلٹ کے درمیان کی خالی جگہ کو بھی اسٹائرو فوم یا فیومیگیٹڈ لکڑی سے پیک کر دیا جاتا ہے تاکہ سفر کے دوران پیلٹ کا توازن برقرار رہے اس کے بعد کنٹینر کے درجہ حرارت کو چیک کیا جاتا ہے اور پھر ذرائع عام و رفت کے کاغذات متعلقہ آفیسر کو دے دیے جاتے ہیں اس مرحلے کے بعد کنٹینر کے دروازے کو سیل کر دیا جاتا ہے بہترین آم کی برداشت کے طریقہ کار اپنانے سے نہ صرف پاکستانی آم کی شیلف لائف بڑھے گی بلکہ دنیا کی عالمی منڈیوں تک اس کی رسائی بھی ممکن ہو سکے گی اس سے ملک میں خوشحالی آئے گی اور کاشتکار بھی ترقی کرے گا say about the, their international standard ways of harvesting okay proceed so on next naman for pineapple The pineapple plant, a type of bromeliad, produces its fruits as an aggregate fruit. The pineapple forms from the inflorescence, which grows out from the middle and the 100 to 200 flowers. The flowers fuse to create an aggregate fruit. The ripe fruit has a leathery, inedible crust with square eyes. These eyes are what's left of the individual flowers. Pineapple plants are very good at collecting water. The leafy crown directs rainwater to the center of the plant. Thus, the pineapple plant can store its own water. The harvest can now begin. This happens six days a week. At 6 a.m., the workers meet at the laundry. The work clothing provided by Dole is washed every day on the farm. For reasons of hygiene, it remains on the plantation so that no germs or other pollutants can be brought on to the plantation. The respective blocks are divided among the workers. The protective clothing differs depending on the work. In addition to hard-wearing jeans, the harvesters also require protective glasses since pineapple leaves are very sharp and could cause eye injuries. They now travel together to the field. While the workers are underway, the foreman inspects the blocks to be harvested. The fruits are randomly sampled to check their golden yellowish flesh and, using a refractometer, their sugar content. They only want to harvest really ripe fruits. The pineapple harvest begins. The 
harvesting equipment consisting of a conveyor and containers moves slowly through the field. The size of the blocks is designed for using the harvesting machines. Pineapple is plucked by hand from the mother plant. The worker lays the fruit on the conveyor. Everybody has to be very careful when harvesting as pineapples can be very sensitive to pressure. The conveyor transports them to the container where they are transferred by hand. They are placed carefully into the transport container. The crown of a pineapple provides the ideal cushion for transport. The pineapples are stored in the container on their heads. When the containers are full, they are taken to the packing station, the planter. We have another video on processing. You wouldn't fancy one of these on your pizza. That's more like it. Since the invention of canning, pineapple has been popular worldwide. And here, in the western mountains of Maui, Hawaii, is one of America's largest pineapple producers. It might look barren, but the rich volcanic soil is actually perfect for growing pineapples. Workers are laying plastic to retain the moisture and keep the bugs and mice out. New plants will come from pineapple crowns, and they're planted 26 centimeters apart in hundreds of rows. With 9,000 pineapple crowns to be planted by hand every day, it's no stroll in the park. After 18 months, the pineapples are ripe and ready for harvesting. If you've only ever eaten pineapple out of small tins, you might be interested to know that the whole fruit is about 30 centimeters long and weighs around two kilos. Unlike a lot of fruits, pineapples stop ripening when they've been picked. But the workers know which ones to pick. Brown and yellow pineapples are good to go. Any green ones are left behind for another day. Although most of these pineapples are going to be processed, the best lookers will be sold whole. The pineapples to be processed end up in this truck. Once it's full, it's off to the factory. One hundred and forty thousand tons of pineapples are processed here every year. First things first, they need to be washed and sorted. It might look like a hedgehog race, but their size determines when they fall through the gap. That's how they get split up into different groups. Peeling and pulping is next. In a one-stop shop, the pineapples are topped and tailed, skinned, and the cores are removed. The rest of the pineapple ends up here. The workers check the fruit for any leftover skin. This machine slices them into rings. The riper, darker and therefore sweeter pulp goes straight into a tin. The rest is cut into chunks and also tinned.
From fresh fruit to tin, the whole process takes just 20 minutes. The pineapples have been processed and packaged and are now ready to top pizzas, spice up fruit salads and keep lumps of cheese company on cocktail sticks. So it's amazing, no? Pila lang kami it's from after harvest na ikan siya. Harvest, the process, the yun. Pila lang kami. So nalang di ko anong technology? Yes, within 20 minutes lang na siya hagi kang pag-harvest and then palabot sa planta i-process within 20 minutes. Gra Grabe na yun ang mga Nasalata. machinery ron, ma'am no, ma'am? And even it's if you have gone to a doll company, mga processing plant, mo na po na ilan minabuhat. So actually, we still have a lot of videos to, to watch on, but we have two minutes le left in our time. So if you have questions, you can ask now. And please watch this uh, doll harvesting banana. Sino naman ang tanaw, ma'am? Ha? Nakakita na mo? And uh, lettuce vacuum cooling no? and potato. Yes, you just watch this um, later. So, anytime mag-end na ta, we are less than a minute na lang. So, do you have any questions or clarification regarding the topic today? Our next topic is post-harvest operations, next meeting. Ma'am, I have a question, ma'am. Ma. Yes? Katong about good sa ma'am. Atong sa imong quiz ma'am ba or sa exam ma'am? Dito jud sa kwan ma'am, dito jud i-reply ang mga answer sa kwan ma'am. Atong imong i-attach ma'am wala jud ka na to. Na yeah, most probably na. but you can also make comments no. I-type lang nimo sa comments or you can write it down the answer no. If 1 to 10 lang ha and then picturean mo na lang or it and then i-send sa ko ah uh, in the Google Classroom or if dili gyapon kakabalo then sa messenger na ikuan lang sa ko ah, i personal message ay wala do kay gyatan si tong file ma'am nga sa ay, sa Google Docs nga ko na la kasi na patas na file ko i pwede to nimo i open and then i edit and then i turn turn back turn in di ba man may answer dito da ma'am dito na ako answer yes so if ever dili siya then you can resort to other things like isulat na lang ang answer na lang ang isulat ninyo ha and then picture ran yes, ma'am ay katong ako ah ma'am ba katong exam gud ako ma'am na send na ko siya ma'am kay kwan basta itong deadline ato ma'am katong monday monday murag na na send na, na send na ko to siya ma'am kay tuesday kay nawalang pinditi sa mua ma'am so, no worries kay wala man kay mga minus no? ma'am kay gahapon ma'am so, okay lang, okay lang. Anyway, kanyang mga exam, um, 